Hello and welcome to Yokoteki. On one of the projects I'm currently working on, we are using this sensor to trigger special effects. I quite like the product and will show you today how it works. The intended usage of this sensor is in drones and other equipment where fast and precise distance measurement is required. We used it as an accurate presence detector to trigger various light, sound and other effects. Sensor measures distance to an object in front of it. When person walks through the laser beam, measurement changes and activates a dry contact which is used to trigger various effects. Let's plug the sensor into the USB and check the readings. To do this, you have to download the Lightware Terminal software from an manufacturer's website and once that is done, readings start immediately. As you can see, product measures distance between the lens and surface or object in front of the lens. It measures 32 times per second and maximum distance of 50 meters and very high accuracy. It is especially accurate to distances up to 35 meters as you can see in this graph. It can be powered by either USB connection or external power supply or battery with voltages between 6.5 to 9 volts. How can you take readouts? Uh, obviously, you can read them through the USB connection directly on your PC. So you can associate serial, virtual serial port and then read it and trigger something inside the software. Or you can, uh, there are several outputs here. An alarm output that is also programmable inside. We use the alarm output uh, to trigger special effects when people pass and trigger the beam. You first adjust the value at which you want alarm to trigger. Let's adjust the distance to 30 cm and verify. We will connect multimeters to the alarm output and then see how it works. The level of the laser emission is class 1M, which means that uh, it is safe to look into it uh, with unaided eye. It can also be used in many other applications like uh, height measurement for drones. It can be used as a proximity sensor and so on. The sensor is currently obsolete, uh, but you can find a similar one with even better characteristics uh, for around $300 on the same website. Link is in the description. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to Yokateki for more interesting videos.